Hello everyone, my name is Selip, and I'm going to be playing Thief Deadly Shadows. I have actually played this game a little bit before, but it doesn't really count since it pretty much my friend just rented it for the Xbox when it was out on the original Xbox, and we spent the whole night just putting oil slicks out and watching guards fall and slip through the hallway, which was really hilarious. But that's really the only thing I remember about this game. So I haven't actually gotten to experience the storyline or the missions. So I really have been looking forward to playing this game. I know it's one of the games that kind of revolutionized how stealth games are played. So let's just hop right in. I got a tip last night from my fence. Heartless Perry. A nobleman named Lord Julian had some sort of quarrel and showed up at a local inn well after nightfall and in a foul mood. He's carrying a velvet bag, about the size of a man's fist, and it never leaves his sight. Sounds likely to be valuable, but I'll know for sure when I steal it from him. Perry sent over a floor plan of the place, the Blue Heron Inn. Finding his lordship won't be hard, his room number will be in the guest register, if I can get to the front desk to read it. The inn will have guards, but not as many as a private estate. That should make things easy, which is one of the reasons I'm willing to try it without knowing for sure what the take will be. Lord Julian is so protective of that bag. There's got to be something of value in it. Okay, cool. So we have our first mission. We're going to steal a valuable bag from Lord Julian. Looks fun. I believe I'm on normal difficulty. It doesn't actually let me select the other ones right now, so... I don't know if I'm supposed to change that in a different way, but normal's fine. So let's see, we gotta break into the inn, find out what room he's staying in, steal his velvet bag, and leave. We've got water arrows, blackjack, and dagger. Alright, let's go. Alright, we are in the training mission. Throughout the rest of the game, we'll get to make our own choices and take our own path, but in this mission, we'll be given instructions at every step. To get started, follow the footprints on the ground. Okay. Let's do it. To be a thief, you must learn how to use stealth. When you hide in the shadows, the guards will not be able to see you. The light gem will tell you how visible you are. Crouching, moving slowly, hiding behind. Yeah, standard stealthy stuff, so... Let's... Go this way. There we go. Luckily, he can't hear my footsteps very well. Some guards will be on patrol looking for intruders. You must learn to observe your enemies and use careful timing to slip by them. Sneak past this guard without getting caught. Oh, here we go. Things are getting intense already. The first guard. All right, that wasn't too bad. Don't really see why you would need to do that too. All right, this must be the inn. Sounds can alert guards, so you must learn to move quietly, holding control. All right, just sneaking by, sneaking by. All right, we're good. Crouch with X. Cool. We made it into the inn. Awesome. Use objects by positioning them and pressing right mouse. Oops, wrong mouse. Let's put that away. There we go. I don't want to accidentally assassinate anybody yet. Okay, we have a bow with our water arrow to extinguish the torch. Select the water arrow. Okay. There we go. There's another water arrow. Alright, we can jump over stuff. Nice. <laughs> This 
game. I don't know what year it was made, but it actually still holds up pretty well. Okay, lock picking. Oh, uh, so this is where Oblivion got it from. Oh. Okay. There we go. I know. You don't need to show me again. I think it's saying I'm taking too long. So I'm gonna equip this stuff. Okay. We are in. Ladders. Okay. Ooh, blackjack. Pour in keep. Here we go. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Oh yeah, the ragdoll in this game is amazing. Alright, let's hide your body, man. Let's throw you down the... Uh-uh. Oh, I can't. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Alright, let's find Lord Julian. The book will tell us where he is. The Peony Suite. Awesome. Lord Julian. <laughs> Wouldn't do to have anyone think he was just Julian. Alright. There's a cat. Hello, cat. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. Alright, let's go upstairs. Check your map. Okay, that's a cool little map. So we were at the front desk, we're going up the stairs. He's gonna be up here on the left, it looks like. Keeps an eye out for valuable objects. Alright, let's get some loot. One percent. Man, look at that guy's teeth. It's kind of a modern looking lamp, too. Oh well. Okay. Press up against walls by pressing R. Oh, that's cool. Cool. That'll come in handy. Oh, we got a guard. Using a noisemaker arrow. Cool. So let's... You go that way. Ah, I just heard the strangest noise. <laughs> oh, they have awesome voices. Peony sweet. Okay, let's close the door. Hopefully he won't notice. Not everything will be useful. Oh, okay. So the candles aren't useful. Sometimes things don't work out as expected. He's not in his room. Okay. Well, that sucks, but I'm sure there's something in here. Meet you in the Lancaster room. Morris the cook. Okay. His lordship has gone for a walk. He can't have gone far. No, he didn't go too far. He just went to the Lancaster room. I think it's just right down the street. Or right in the other, down the hall. Okay. Did I already look over here for loot? I'm kind of a completionist, so I'm really going to try and get all the loot that I can. It bugs me when I don't have 100% of the loot. Plus then that way you guys get to see where it's all at. Sneak up and steal the purse without being seen. Okay. What was that? Five picked men. 
my lord. Five picked men with me, and we cut our way through. He's your cousin, my lord. Okay. I won the bet. My shaft was closer by a thumb's width. The bloodline noble should rightfully be mine. I don't know what he's talking about. His shaft was closer. I know the castle. That's a little awkward. Well, you're a cook. What could you know? Every evening after sunset, the supply wagon comes through that gate and into the courtyard, and no one looks twice. Not doing a very good job hiding. Arrange for your men to be inside one evening, and then we cut our way through. Five good men against twenty. Oh man, who's there? Hope it's nobody. Oh, I missed. Uh -huh. Oh, <laughs> I really thought he wasn't going to see me. Okay, let's do that over. You must put it out. The lion's head torch. Yes. So and this time we'll stay in the, the shadow until he I will take goes away. As head of the family, the lady Elizabeth will be waiting. Even now she'll be flattered. Don't mind me, guard. Me time to Just gonna return. steal from your lord. Only the medallion is the only key, my lord. You must keep hold of it. You forget Lord Ember has another. I hear he guards it right, go. with his life. My lord, I wish only for peace in the household. The opal is mine. I won oh, that bet, Morris. I won it. it. This doesn't seem smart, but... We have long arms. Certainly a useful thing to have as a thief, though. 87%. F1 to use a flash bomb. Oh, that's cool. Ha! I see you! Now let's fight! F1. Oh, Huffers! I I what the hell? <laughs> <go. laughs> nice. Is there any loot in here? Who put out the dang light? Close one. Cool. But I've still got the goods. What's that? So, I guess I did miss one thing, but that's okay, it's just the training mission, so let's continue. Society, especially if it comes with good loot. The velvet bag turned out to hold a bronze medallion stamped with a griffin. Valuable enough, but more interesting was the conversation I overheard between Lord Julian and the cook. Especially the part about a huge opal and a conspiracy for stealing it. I'd hate to have anyone but me get a stone like that. But I need a better idea where to start looking. If I show the medallion to my fence, I'm sure he'll know more. Heartless Perry always does. Cool. Stats. <clears throat> yeah, we missed one thing. Oh well. Let's go to Heartless Perry. fence take a look at Lord Julian's medallion. Perry says the crest belongs to the Rutherfords, one of the oldest so-called great families with a castle in South Quarter and a street named after them. They've got a lot of wealth and a nasty reputation for turning on each other. Based on that conversation I overheard, Julian is definitely carrying on the family tradition. Lord Ember, Julian's cousin, 
currently resides in the castle, and Julian wants revenge. Julian had a good plan. Hide inside a supply cart and ride in after dark, then signal the cook to open the side door by putting out the lion's head torch in the courtyard. Was a good enough plan for me to use myself. That bloodline opal sounds valuable, and it's better off with me than sitting around in their vault. But I can't get lazy. Ember will have his personal guard, and doubtless a few other family tricks in store for anyone who comes after the opal. Okay, so that's the end of our training mission, and looks like the beginning of the first mission. So we're going to go on ahead and end part one here. When we get back with part two, we'll start the next mission. Thanks for watching, guys.